Today, we're peeling back the velvet curtains of Rolex's less obvious truths. Have you ever strolled into a Rolex dealer and wondered why there's a sea of date justs, but only a sprinkle of their sportier watches? Turns out, there's some pretty crafty reasoning behind it, and we're here to break it down for you. In this video's revelation, we're unraveling a Rolex mystery that might catch you off guard. Those sleek sports models you're eyeing. They're not just playing hard to get, they're part of a bigger strategy. And while it might seem like a game of hide-and-seek, there's more to why the date justs are stealing the spotlight. It's like they say, every good show needs a star. And in the Rolex boutiques, it's the date justs that are soaking up all the fame. Let's ease into the world of Rolex and uncover something called the 70-30 rule and what it spells for those slick authorized dealers. Here's the thing. For every 70 non-steel watches like the classy date just or oyster perpetual that fly off the shelves, Rolex slips in 30 of their sportier numbers into the mix. Think of it as Rolex's own recipe for keeping the vibe exclusive and interesting. To lay hands on these elusive models, dealers have to stick to a pretty strict playbook. Signing up means agreeing to a hefty list of do's and don'ts. Now why all the fuss about these particular watches? Let's dive into the details. Rolex sports watches such as the Submariner or Daytona make a bold statement with their flawless design and epic backstories of deep-sea adventures and racetrack legends. Each piece isn't just built, it's crafted meticulously with top-notch materials and precise engineering, making them not just watches, but bona fide treasures. So while the 70-30 rule might seem like just a clever sales tactic, it's actually Rolex's way of keeping the allure as tempting as sneaking a midnight snack when you're on a strict diet. Now here's how things roll at Rolex. They set up official Rolex retailers, or what they call Objective Response Rate, or ORR, and hand them a non-exclusive ticket to buy and sell Rolex goodies. But here's the catch. Rolex holds all the cards. They can decide not to set up any more ORRs whenever they feel like it, regardless of where you are. Once you're in as an ORR, you agree to sell Rolex products in a way that keeps up with their swanky reputation and sky-high standards. Basically, Rolex only dishes out new goods to jewelers or official Rolex jewelers, or ORJs, according to their rules. And if they think you're not up to snuff, they can pull the plug on your approved status whenever they want. So what's the real deal for you? Well, it means you're basically in a waiting game, seeing what treasures your authorized dealer scores each year. And it's all about guessing games and allocations, about those wait lists. Being on one doesn't mean you'll be stuck there forever. Show you're a big spender or a VIP, and you might just skip ahead of the line like you've got a backstage pass. Essentially, if you're eyeing a Rolex, pretend the wait list doesn't exist. Rolex will ship out pieces on their own whims, and your dealer is left playing catch-up. They buy whatever Rolex sends over, and then it's their gig to sell it. Kind of like playing luxury roulette, isn't it? Hang tight. Why not subscribe and join the opulent Oasis community? Get the latest scoop on our cutting-edge content. Now back to the topic. You see, this cycle repeats throughout the year. So if you ask your authorized dealer what's coming in, don't expect a straight answer. They're as in the dark as you are until the watches land. The quirky part is, Rolex decides the allocation only after the shipment arrives. No complaints allowed if supply falls short. Rolex hype doesn't have to fill orders, leaving your dealer to deal with the fallout. There are no repercussions for Rolex, making it a tough game for the dealers. In essence, your authorized dealer has no clue what they're getting until the shipment shows up, so calling ahead and seeking guarantees is ultimately futile. For instance, if your dealer orders two ceramic Daytonas and 10 Everose presidents, but none show up, the back orders simply get canceled. By the way, if you're curious about anything else, drop us a comment below. When it comes to retail sales, Rolex likes to keep a tight grip on the distribution channel, ensuring everything runs by their rules. So, what does retail sales only mean? It means your authorized dealer, or ORJ, is only allowed to sell watches at the manufacturer's suggested retail price. If they try to hike up the price, they're violating the contract and risk losing their authorized status. This particular rule has been a major sticking point for dealers under the retail sales agreement, causing quite a bit of tension. 
Here's a peek into the nitty-gritty of how Rolex ensures their watches are showcased just right at authorized dealers. Under the deal, jewelers are required to keep a basic stock on hand all year round. It's not just a pick-and-mix affair. Rolex consults closely with the jeweler to craft a stock plan that's tailor-made for their specific sales potential, dipping into the full spectrum of current Rolex models at each shop. And yes, this is a must. No basic stock, no fancy Rolex jeweler status. But there's an added twist. Rolex reps can pop in, pretty much unannounced, to check out every Rolex piece in the shop. They'll also take a deep dive into the sales and warranty records. It's kind of like those surprise house checks from your in-laws, but instead of judging your housekeeping, they're all about keeping standards sky high with those shiny timepieces. This hands-on approach helps keep everything transparent and up to the luxe standards Rolex is known for. To give you a flavor of what's in stock, think about the Rolex Submariner, waterproof to 300 meters and sporting a Cerachrom bezel that's virtually scratch-proof, or the elegant Rolex Datejust with its signature date window and Cyclops lens. Basically, they're masterpieces of precision and durability, each tailored to meet the discerning tastes of Rolex enthusiasts. And keeping these gems on display is about maintaining the grandeur that comes with every Rolex watch. But if this standard provision is still in place today, Rolex has the right to check inventory at its authorized dealers. So if Rolex really wants to ensure their dealers aren't hoarding rare models, they can pop in and take a look. They also have the right to inspect sales and warranty data, making it pretty tough for any funny business to go unnoticed. It's like having a magnifying glass on the whole operation, keeping everything above board. Here's an interesting tidbit. Rolex has the exclusive right to repurchase the timepieces they've allocated to an ORJ or AD. This means if a dealer decides to shut down, stop selling Rolexes, or even go bankrupt, they can't just sell those pieces to third parties or flood the market. Rolex buys them back, maintaining their grip on the market and preventing those watches from hitting the secondary market. If a dealer tries to offload them elsewhere, they've broken the contract and have to pay for those watches. So here's the important part. Rolex can end their contract with any official jeweler or authorized dealer whenever they see fit. The reasons might range from trans-shipping, selling to the grey market or non-retail channels, to simply not sticking to the rules. The relationship guidelines are so strict and high quality that it could be anything from bankruptcy to a dealer wanting to transfer their inventory and business to another entity. It's like Rolex has this enormous rule book to ensure everything stays airtight and the brand value keeps climbing. Sure, there are pros and cons to this method, but these are the rules they have to play by brands like Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe have similar agreements, but Rolex is the most notorious for this approach. And that wraps up our video. We hope we've answered your questions about the real story behind Rolex authorized dealers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Opulent Oasis for the latest Rolex updates. Goodbye for now, and we'll catch you in our next video, always in first class.